The A to Z of isms, libertarianism. The nine most terrifying words in the English language are, I'm from the government and I'm here to help. The words of the then US President Ronald Reagan back in 1986. Reagan's mockery of the very government he headed tapped into widespread American support for a political philosophy that grew throughout the 20th century. His most vocal champions, such as Senator Rand Paul and the Koch brothers, are on the political fringes. But libertarian thinking has influenced mainstream politics, from Ronald Reagan's attacks on government to Margaret Thatcher's desire to roll back the frontiers of the state. Libertarianism's roots go back much further, though. As their name suggests, libertarians see their philosophy as embodying the principles of individual liberty promoted by the European Enlightenment and American independence in the 18th century. Political libertarianism is particularly at home in the USA, which celebrates the pioneer values of self-reliance and rugged individualism. Key among these is the principle of self-ownership. Your life belongs to you and no one else. Hence, the liberty they defend is what philosopher Isaiah Berlin called negative freedom. Freedom from interference by others, especially governments. Libertarians regard all government as a necessary evil. They favour a minimal state, which the leading libertarian philosopher Robert Nozick said should be limited to the narrow function of protection against force, theft, fraud, enforcement of contracts, and so on. Such a minimal state would not even provide public services, such as health and education. For libertarians, welfare states create dependency and stifle initiative. These principles make libertarians very critical of taxation. Nozick went so far as to say that taxation of earnings from labour is on a par with forced labour. Although libertarians tend to be politically right-wing, there is also a fairly strong tradition of left libertarianism, such as that advocated by Canadian philosopher Hillel Steiner. He claims that no one has a right to claim ownership of common goods such as land. With an equal distribution of natural resources for everyone, there would be sufficient equality while leaving people as free as possible to decide how to live their own lives. Critics of libertarianism argue that we are not truly free unless we have access to things like decent housing, healthcare and education. But we can only have this positive freedom, as Berlin called it, in a state that provides services and redistributes some wealth. Libertarianism may not be well known as a philosophy, but its spirit is invoked every time people attack big government or the nanny state. It's probably the most influential political philosophy most people have never heard of.